you know, when we talk about all of the above, what, what we mean is truly all of the different sources of energy. And, and when you look at the portfolio that this country uses today, the things that actually run America, that help us not only enjoy our daily lives and increase our, uh, our standard of living, but also to produce things. If we're going to be able to be a manufacturing country and, and actually create jobs here, it's going to take energy to do it. Uh, and under the current, uh, the current breakdown we have today, uh, 80, roughly 87 percent of the electricity that's generated in this country uh, comes from, from coal, from nuclear power, and from natural gas. And unfortunately, all three are under attack by this administration. I mean, the, the war on coal has been duly noted. Uh, you know, you see so much coal being exported because you can't even use it in this country today, yet it represents over 37 percent of the electricity that's generated. Uh, how you can continue to enjoy the standard of living we have as a country today uh, when, when the administration's at attacking 37 percent of that, that resource, and then in addition, it's all of the other things that, uh, that, that are produced in this country. You can't just do it on wind and solar. We support the advancement of those technologies. But when 87 percent of your electricity comes from the other sources and you're going after them, that's truly the government picking winners and losers. And ultimately, the losers are families who are paying higher electricity costs when this kind of policy goes into effect. So we're going to continue to push in an all of the above energy strategy. Uh, it's not only good for America, it helps families and it helps the ability for our economy to create jobs and compete. So I appreciate all the panelists today.